Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are going to be diving into a mod uh, called Ye Gamel Chattels, which is a mod that I have played around with before, but not in this particular season uh, or series. So I'm very excited for you uh, for it. We, I, I know we had talked last episode about doing bees and about getting into bees, and I've been playing around with it between episodes. I just don't think I can do it. It's so, <laughs> it's so tedious and it takes forever and I've, I've just lost all interest in doing it. I think uh, I'm probably better off getting into bees when I have some kind of supporting mods installed, like Gendistry, for example. Uh, some of the things that kind of make the process a lot less mind-numbingly dull and boring. So, um... Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. We're not doing bees. We're going to do Ye Gamel Chattels today. Now, what Ye Gamel Chattels is, let's just, uh, at Ye, there we go. This is a mod that adds a lot of decorative stuff to the game and a lot of really cool kind of furniture pieces and things like that. Uh, there's some really cool stuff. Um, and this is a mod that I used fair amount in stud tech uh, back in back in the day. It sounds a little crazy to say that now. I can't believe how long ago the stud tech was. Um, but basically, there's a, there's a whole kind of carpentry aspect to this mod. And what I want to do is I want to build kind of like a little bit, a uh, little bit of like a carpentry woodworking type shop thing. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do it here somewhere in the factory or if I want to do it outside. And I'm kind of thinking outside just because I don't know that having like a carpentry shop that's kind of, uh, that would fit with the theme of Ye Gemmel Chattels. It's all kind of, kind of rustic, kind of, uh, you know, carpentry done by hand and stuff like that. I don't think that would really fit very well within the factory. So I'm thinking we're going to kind of put this outside the factory somewhere. Um, make like a little bit of a, a little bit of like a wood, like a woodworker shop. I think that it, that'd be, uh, you know, kind of cool. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We'll build probably the structure of it in this episode. And then in the next episode, I think we'll probably uh, do the interior stuff and actually get into the Gamel Chattel's mod itself. Um, so I don't want, uh, as I said, I don't want to have it in. <laughs> Uh, the factory, but I want it near the factory because my ME system <laughs> is in the factory. This is just laziness speaking, to be honest. Um, <laughs> and if I put it uh, near the factory, I can easily grab any building materials and things like that that I might need. So I think we're maybe just going to kind of put it over here. Um, I think that would be perfectly fine. Uh, let's grab some spruce wood and maybe some dark oak and then maybe a little bit of this palm as well the palm wood i actually really like the palm wood texture i think it's really nice um so i think we're gonna make use of that uh i probably am not going to need my excavator yeah okay so let's see first and foremost let's decide what kind of size we're gonna have let's go one two three four five six seven mm, I think that's a little bit big let's go five there one two three four five six seven eight nine so here let's just kind of line those up and then I think over here, we'll go like another three, maybe. And one, two, three, four, five. Like that. So we'll have kind of a, kind of an L-shaped house or, or more of like a rectangular house with a little bit that kind of sticks off over here. I think that'll be, I think that'll be uh, adequate. I think that'll get the job done. Let's grab some spruce wood planks and just kind of 
fill in some of these walls. Let's see here. Let's get rid of that. So we'll have something that's kind of this shape. And I think that'll work. And then let's actually take off my boots. I have my... Yeah, yeah, okay. So let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And let's bring these up a bit. Oh, not that high. Come back, you. Uh, these ones I actually want to be a bit lower, and I think, I think I'm going to keep them down like this. But I want these ones to be higher. So it'll be like that. I think that's fine. Let's grab our sleeping bag so we can take a nap. It's getting late. I don't want it to be dark. And there we go. Okay. So I'm thinking we'll put a door like right here and then this will be a window. So let's just kind of frame that out a little bit. We'll have like a little window right here. Um, this will be, actually, you know what I should do is I should grab my builder's wand because this will be much faster with a builder's wand without a doubt. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That saves a lot of time. I might not even need... I guess we'll find out if I'm going to need to make more planks. I don't think I will. I think that'll be enough. How's that look? That's not bad. That's not too bad. Okay. Now, I know I said I probably wasn't going to need my excavator, but... I am actually going to need my excavator because we need to get a floor in here. So let's just uh, tear all of that up. There we go. Now we can put the excavator back if I can grab it. There we go. And let's yank that out. Hopefully I will have enough of this. I think I will have just enough of this palm wood. Yeah, that'll work. Do I have... Oh, and I've even got one left to go right there underneath the door. Nice. Okay. So, that's all good to go. Let's put some of that away. Now, for a roof on here, we've got some options. Let's take a look at stone um, what would be mud bricks? Hmm. What would be a good tile? Is there any sort of tile that looks very roof-like? This is all Z-tones or stones, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Some of this chisel stuff might work. What is this? That's dirt. It needs to be something that comes in stairs, for sure. Let's see. Treated wood. Ooh, that actually could look pretty good. Let's just see. How's that look for a color? Mmm. I think it would look okay. I think it would look alright if we did some sort of like a highlight. How's that look next to dark oak? Not great. Actually, you know, I'm not really liking that reddish tint the more I look at it. I don't think that's a good option. Let's see what else we have. Teak. I don't think I have any teak. I need something that has gray tones to it. Gray uh, or gray and or brown. Preferably more brown now that I kind of think about it. Walnut. Have I gotten any walnut? Nope. 
No walnut. Okay. Let me look through here for some materials and see if I can figure out what I want to use. I'll be back with you in a sec. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm really kind of liking these mud bricks. But that means I need mud balls, and I need a lot of mud balls. So, I think we're going to have to head off and hunt us some mud. Uh, I believe there's actually a fair amount of it over here, and actually there's probably a decent amount of it right up over here as well. Let's go ahead and put our dark boots back on because they let us run a little faster. I bet if this is like a swampy area, there's probably a bunch of mud over here. We're going to find out. Um, but basically, to do the mud, to make these mud bricks, uh, here we go, mud bricks, it's four mud bricks. And to make mud bricks, you smelt a, med, uh, a mud ball. Kind of like nether rack and nether brick. Um, let's see. Is there any... Uh, this is not looking amazingly promising. Let's see here. Yeah, this might not have any mud. Or maybe it does. That's dirt. More dirt clay yeah I don't know that there's any actual mud here hmm okay what about over here this might be a a muddy area maybe I have a feeling we're not that lucky <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to find mud um I know I've seen some. I just got to remember where exactly... Oop, the lag spike there. Just got to remember where it was. Let's see. Let me look around for a bit and see if I can track down some mud. I'll be back. All right, guys. I am back, and I think I have... I think I've found all the mud that I will need. Hopefully. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, there's a little... Uh, what is this? A marsh? A marsh biome. Uh, kind of south east of my base uh, and there's tons absolutely tons of mud here so uh, this will do the trick I hope I don't know how much of this I'm gonna need uh, but probably a fair amount so let me gather a bunch of this and I'll come back all right guys I am back and I think I should probably have enough mud balls at this point I've got uh, about 1700 that's that's a pretty good amount um, so I think I hope that'll be enough. Now, I think what I should probably do is make a pattern terminal and do, well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to have to make a handful of these. Uh, I'm going to have to make one on my own. Man, so many bows. Just so much random junk in my ME system. Uh, I mean, it's not like I, you know... It's not like I'm lacking space for all the junk in my ME system. I just wish I didn't have so much of it. Um, but whatever. So what we'll do is we'll take some of these guys. And I'll just throw them in here. And those should cook up pretty quick into mud bricks. Right? So super easy. Not a big deal. Then what we'll do is we'll come over here and grab... A mud brick like that and we'll say processing one mud ball equals one mud brick we'll go ahead and encode that pattern okay so pretty straightforward pretty easy and we can just put that oh I was trying to put the actual brick itself in instead of the pattern there we go so we'll get that going and we'll just basically let this cook up mud bricks. And I think what I'm going to do is we'll go to here. We'll say mud. And I'm going to craft uh, how many of these guys do I actually have? That is the question. I have 1486. So if we go here, plus 15, oh, 
we'll say 1480. And that will craft a ton of those guys. And we should see this thing basically refilling, I think, maybe. Hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully this does what it should. I, I don't want to have to refill that manually, but there's a chance that I might end up having to do that. Let's just see. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Did that work? I would have thought that this thing would have refilled by now. Configure IO, push pull. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. In the meantime, let's go ahead and take some of these mud bricks and start crafting them into these guys. Or grab mud, mud, mud bricks. <laughs> They're just called mud bricks. And uh, let's just try these out and see how these look as far as our structure goes. Color wise, hopefully this looks good. Um, yeah, that actually doesn't look terrible. Wants me to use a pickaxe on them, that's fine. I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's too bad. I think it needs a highlight color, for sure. But I think for an inner color, uh, I think that'll actually work pretty well. So then let's grab some dark oak and let's just grab some of that. And we're gonna start putting in uh, some stairs and stuff like that. Let's break that guy out um, right here. I think I wanna turn it up and where, how do I want my roof here? That is the question. I know this one I want to be relatively kind of short and stout, if you will. Um, I actually need to grab a crafting bench just so I don't have to keep running back and forth. There we go. Oh, come on now. Let's just plop that guy down right here and let's just make a bunch of slabs there we go and we'll just kind of bring that out like this and like that that gives us a relatively short and flat roof my concern nope actually that'll work perfectly that will work perfectly fine awesome okay so right here oh wait we needed we said we wanted an outline on it and then I forgot about the outline part um, this we're gonna have to figure out because that's gonna look a little funky but let's go here and make a bunch of these mud brick stairs. And let's just see if we put these in like so. Let's just see how this looks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think I actually quite like that. It's really not terrible, which is kind of surprising considering the colors here. Um, we'll patch those holes, I think, just to, just to kind of patch them up a little bit as best we can. But I think that's actually pretty good. Now, this level right here, this is gonna be a little bit trickier um, once again, I want to go for a short 
and relatively flat roof. But I'm thinking here we're going to kind of mirror this roof shape. So it would come out, let's see here. Uh, I think this guy needs to kind of come away and maybe turn right here. Bring that one over. Ooh. There is, that is going to be an issue, isn't it? I think this needs to go up one more level. That's what I think. So we need spruce logs. And we'll just bring these guys up one level higher. And I think that will be sufficient. So let me get the rest of this roof shape in place and I'll come back to you in a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got kind of an interesting roof shape here. Um, this arches up, this end arches up, and this end arches up, and the rest of it on this side stays flat. Now, we could potentially put like a chimney or something here, which would be kind of cool. Um, but I think what I really need more than anything else right now is more of these mud bricks, which seem to not be crafting in massive quantities. So let me go check on that. I, I think my crafting order didn't, didn't work properly. Uh, let's see here. Did it? No. No, it didn't. Okay. Well, let's put all of this stuff away. That way I can fill my inventory with these guys. Whoa. There we go. And we'll just put all of these into these alloy smelters. Smelt them all up as, at once as quickly as we possibly can. And that should generate a lot of mud bricks for me very quickly. So, hopefully enough to finish this project. I really only need enough for the roof, so it shouldn't be too bad. We should be basically good. Um, now, let's grab... Yeah, look how fast. Look how fast those are crafting now. That's much better. Okay, there we go. So we'll make a bunch of these guys. And if I need more, I will make more. Okay, now here, we're going to have to... I'm also going to need some spruce wood, aren't I? Let's grab a little bit of that. And we'll just fill in these gaps behind the little arches. There we go. And then we're going to fill all of those holes in as well. And I think, I think that should basically do it. As far as the shape goes, I think we got the shape right. We'll know in a second. Okay, that looks good. That all looks good. I don't know about this very top being so flat, but I think it's okay. And I think that if we get a chimney in there, I think it'll look much better. So I think we're good. Now we're gonna need windows. Oh, hello, modifier. I like more modifiers. Modifiers are good. Let's just get a couple windows in there. And then over here, we'll maybe put a couple in like that as well. And I think... I think that'll do. And let's just do something like that. So there we go. But guys, I think I am definitely out of time for this episode, and I think we got a pretty good start on our little carpenter's 
uh, woodworkers, wood shop thing. Workshop? Workshop. Um, I think we got a pretty good start on it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.